Hey mate, guys, and also YouTubers, it's your best friend, Laser Jet, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017. We're back! This is the first episode of Season 3, and we've got something very special to show you today because this is actually my favourite and possibly the only tank engines I adore in the train sim world and the tank engine I'm going to be reviewing today is the 14XX and I just absolutely love this tank engine I love the way it looks and it just loves the way it runs and it's got a lot of realistic sound effects and it's got a lot of cool features on this model and I'll get into that in a minute but I'm just quickly want to say thank you guys for your support and thank you all for being patient but we're back now with train simulator and I hope you guys will be excited because we've got a lot of amazing stuff to be reviewing and I I cannot wait to sh to do actually do them so anyway I'm just so happy to be back and the reason why I'm reviewing the 14xx is because a lot of you have been nagging me begging me and demanding me to review this tank engine and now I am and this is the my only favorite tank engine I adore and if you don't guys haven't guessed already we are at the well we're back to the Riviera line in the 50s and I thought what would be great for the steam enthusiasts like me come home to where steam grew up is in the riviera line I, I just made that up but there's a lot of cool features on this loco as i said we're gonna get into that in a minute but i just want to get this amazing steam train moving so what we're gonna do is well we're not gonna use we're not we're not gonna use any of this because you know you know you know me i just like to make it pure and simple but i'll show you the controls that's the reverser here's the brake and you can just you can hear the brake being released and it just sounds good and there's another feature I like if you um when when you accelerate um you you you'll you just see there's like a, a lot of steam comes from the front and I really like that but if you look it comes from different e well, it comes from each side and I really like that and it's got brilliant realistic sound effects and just look at the steam just coming off it just it just looks fantastic and it just sounds amazing and it and it and it's and to be honest, it really does pick up very quickly. So if we quickly press C, and then that makes it stop. And it just there's a lot of features I love about this loco. It just I'm just so happy to finally be reviewing again because it's been a while since I have done Train Simulator. But we're back now, and that's all that matters. So if we put the regulator on full and put the um, the reverser on around about 48%, we start picking up speed. And there should be a little sound effect, a little special feature we have that will turn on in a minute because it's on automatic. But we can still move around, which is I really like. And you can actually see the fire, and if you zoom in, you can actually see the coal burning away and it just looks amazing and I really do like that and if we just wait for a few minutes there should be another sound effect that comes on in a minute and I'll explain what that is um, but there's a feature I really like about this loco if we quickly slow down because we're coming up to a station and I'll show you guys what that feature is and oh my god look there's another train over there hello what, what is that oh yeah it's the, it's I think it's the castle class oh it is the castle class hello Ah, oh, it's oh, it's so good to be reviewing again. Oh, I'm just I'm just so happy to be back because this is where Laser Jet grew up, and this is where I truly belong. Okay, we're getting closer, so that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly stop at this station, and I can show you all the awesome features that the 14XX has. And if you can hear this sound effect, it's going on right now. And if you can hear it, that's actually the water being fed through the pipes. And if you just heard it, it just turned off. So that's fantastic. Well, let's put breaking on, but not too much. Well, actually, put it all the way. Come on, stop it, stop, stop, come on, come on, come on my pretty, come on, come on, stop, stop, be a good boy, come on, stop, and the, oh, and if you guys can hear that, that's that's one of the breaks, and so anyway, I want to quickly show you guys the awesome features that this logo has, as you can tell, the whistle sounds amazing, but actually, it's, it's not only that, because if I just hold down the whistle, you can hear it, it goes into a loop, but that's not only it, because you know you can hear a very high pitch, but if I hold down control space, it has a different whistle, so let's do the first one again, and now the second one, and I, that's what I really like how it has two whistles, and you have to hold down control to activate the second one, so if I just do the whistles again, And you can actually you can actually hold them down at the same time. Hold if I do that and then that's two. We have two whistles blowing at the same time. 
Okay, let's, let's just stop the whistle because the whistles are getting annoying now. But I really like how it has two whistles. So if I quickly do it one, just one more time, you guys don't judge. I mean, come on, it's a whistle. It's fantastic. So if I do the whistle again. And that's actually, and that actually, that whistle actually does sound familiar, because if you guys actually have ever watched a film called Titch of Thunderbolt, at the very beginning you see a 14xx going backwards, and it actually has two whistles, and I actually have a clip of here, take a look at this clip, my friends. Anyway, enough with the whistles, because I've got a lot of more features to show you on this train. And if you can see, you can actually see the pistons, like, inside of all how all, all the pistony stuff. So that all that moves, by the way, which is good. But the thing I want to show you inside is if you... you, you uh, when I first did this, I was actually amazed. What you can do is you can actually open the window. And if you actually look, the window is, in, is indeed actually open. And I just think that that is such a cool feature. And yes, you can do it on the other side if we could quickly demonstrate. And you can actually see the handles actually move once you open and close them. So you can actually, like, if I do it again, the handles actually, if I can just get to it, they actually open and they actually lock up, and I, re I just find that really cool. And I really love that. And there's there's so much more as well because there's a little valve here, like like a well a lever. And if you pull this lever, and if you go outside, you can actually see it's actually leaking water. It actually drains water from I think it's like from the water tank if it has too much water in or something. Or if, I, I don't know what that is for, but. It's something to do. It's it's a safety feature. That's all I know. And you can actually do the same to the other side as I quickly unleak that. There we go. And it happens to happen. Have it. Sorry, on both sides. So I think I think that's really cool. And if I had to be honest, the sound effects sound amazing, but it does sound like your granddad taking a wee. So that's a bit embarrassing. So you don't want to leave that on for too long, or it'll just sound quite awkward. So what we'll just we'll do is we'll just turn both of them off. But I really do like how that is actually a thing on this on this amazing tank engine. And there's so much more as well. I mean, you can open these like little doors, and if you go outside, you can still see that the doors are actually open. And if I close them again, if I can collect, oh there we go. And there you go. The, now it's actually now they're closed. So if we quickly open, they're open. Quickly close them. They're closed. And you can actually open these windows as well. So if it gets a bit too smoky in here, you can actually open these windows, which I think they're it's it's a really cool feature. I like how you can open all the windows and oh this is all this has got to be one of my favorite tank engines. And not only that, I'm one of my favorite locos in train simulator history. Because it, it, it just has so many cool features and it's very easy to drive. And I just love this tank engine and it just <laughs> I love everything about it. And not and, and it gets better. It actually has these window like smoke shutter things. I think this is for to shut it if the smoke's getting in your face or is to make the train more aero dynamic or it's probably just to stop the smoke from going in people's faces but I like how you can close that and you're not gonna leave this there is more because if you press B very quickly it's got a cute little bell yeah you, you don't want to you don't want to like do it over time just just two little bells would do it ding ding Ding, ding, ding. And not only that, but you can actually open the sky roof as well. And if you can see, it is indeed actually open. I'm just, oh, there's so many cool things on this logo. I like how you can open it. And if you have it halfway, you can actually see it really closes halfway. And I like if you look over here where the mouse is, you can actually see, actually see if I actually open it, you can actually see sunlight coming through the roof. And, it, it, and you can actually see the shadow. And it just, it's, this is so cool. And I really love this tank engine. And it gets better because there's more. Oh, yes. Because you can actually open these little doors. And as you can see, they're, they're, they're open, which is good. Because in, in some locos, they don't have doors that can actually open, which is annoying. So if we just quickly close them, there we go. And you can do the same on the other side as well. Open the door, close, and everything. But there is more. You're probably thinking, what else could there be more of? But there is more. You're not. I'm not lying. And <laughs> you guys will love this. What we have is we actually have little... Folding up little seats, ha! Huh? So if you had, so if it was like take your children to work day, uh, your kids can sit there, and if they get like, cause you know, I, I I used to be a kid, okay, and I can never ever stand up for more than two minutes. Or they could just sit on this little 
thing here, which is, looks like a chair or something or some sort. But either way, I think they're very important. But anyway, let's open these little guys up again because you know it makes the train look very cramped. So if we open those guys up, and and as you can see, the fire has just opened, and you can see the lovely light shining on the floor, and you can get that massive amazing light effect and it just it's just so cool and there's so many cool features on this and i really love i really love the forward up seats i love how you can open the doors i like how you can open the sky roof which the roof thing i don't know the name i think it's a sky roof or something but i like how you can open the windows and i also like how you can actually in like open the valve and let water leak out and i just find that really cool and i've I just love this so much, and I really love how it has two whistles. <laughs> um, this is this is the best day of my life. I am so glad that I finally have my favourite tank engine in the world, and I'm very thankful for you guys for actually suggesting for me to actually review this amazing tank engine. So, and if we press five, you're gonna get also this get a nice interior of the lovely carriages or coaches of this amazing add-on pack. And if you guys really want this, I. Out of a scale of 1 to 10, this is over 100. I recommend you guys getting this add-on pack. It's 11.99 on Steam, and I tell you what, it is absolutely worth the money. Everything is worth it. So if I were you, go buy this straight away. It's just amazing, right? Let's open up this thing, and let's see how fast we can actually get the 14XX. Here we go. That's on. And I really like how when the smoke comes out the steam pipe thing, it actually comes out on different pipes. It's like you guys, you guys, I don't know how to make the sound effect, but you guys can clearly see it. It just looks amazing. And not only that, you actually get sparks flying out of the funnel, and it it just keeps getting better. This this loco is just full of surprises. So if I were you. For God's sake, please get this add-on pack. It is just so worth it. It's worth every penny, right? If we press C again, and as you can you just hear, the water valve has just, has just come in, so we can feed water through the boiler, and that is on automatic as well, so I don't have to keep doing that. And it comes with adorable little coaches. I mean, look at this. Don't, don't these coaches look amazing? It looks like a old, very old-fashioned London underground train, doesn't it? And it's, it's just worth every penny, guys. I'm thankful for you guys for just suggesting the 14XX. And if you guys want me to suggest... And if I were you, suggest what I should do more. Because this is just amazing. And it just looks fantastic. And I am so thankful for you guys for suggesting the 14XX. And it just looks amazing. I mean, look at the sun just shining on it. I mean, it's just so amazing, isn't it? And this is a really good shot, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's it's just I'm just so happy right now guys thank you for everything and I'm just so grateful well that's all it I guess I mean I've shown you everything and it just looks fantastic the sound effects are amazing and the quality is just fantastic and I'm just it's just so perfect uh, let's uh, let's close the sky roof because it's getting a little bit chilly in here well, actually, it's not getting chilly because it's, it's in a video game. But you know, I like to, I like to think of this as a realistic thing because it, it's just it's just perfect. But I also got to say that um, not only this is my favorite tank engine in the world, but I think it's got to be one of my favorite locos in the game now because it's just got so many amazing bells and whistles to it. Well, when I say whistles, literally whistles. Uh, let me just sound off the other whistle. There we go. I can't get over how it has two whistles. It's just, it's just fantastic. And we are, and now because I've reviewed everything it has, I'm gonna see how fast we can actually get the 14XX up to speed. So that's gonna be a little challenge of how fast can we get the 14XX? Not that fast because it's only like a small little tank engine, but I'm thinking it can do probably above 50. That's that's my goal. Get get it above 55 at least. 55 is my is my target. Absolutely. I'm going to see if we can get it above 55 and see how well it runs on the main line. Oh, it looks like we have a little visitor. Let's give him a friendly toot toot. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, you guys might think that the second whistle is a bit annoying, but I read. Really, I don't know about you, but I just I love the second whistle. I love doing the first whistle and the second whistle. It, yeah, I just have that little 
feeling inside that me and this loco is is gonna get it along just fine. And not only that, but believe it or not, when I was born, my family decided to name me and to my brother Thomas after the Thomas the Tank Engine characters. So they were gonna call my brother Timothy, and they were gonna call me Thomas, but they decided to name us after Thomas the Tank Engine characters. So they decided to, to name my brother Thomas and name me Oliver. And in Thomas and Friends, this loco is actually Oliver in Thomas and Friends. So I'm just thinking, what a big coincidence how my name is Oliver. In Thomas and Friends, this loco is Oliver. And this is my favourite tank engine of all time and probably my favourite loco in Train Simulator. So I'm just thinking, me and this tank engine is going to get along absolutely fine. And... I know I said this before, but thank you again for suggesting this amazing add-on pack. It's just super amazing. I wonder how fast are we going now, anyway? Ooh! 53.2 miles per hour! Very impressive for a small little tank engine. But I wonder if we could go... Probably a little bit faster. I'm gonna give it... Just a little bit more... Juice. There you go. Oh, It's above 50. But I really want to see if it can get above 55. That is my... That's my target. Get it above 55. Oh, and we're coming into a little station. Uh, I want to, oh, actually, I want to get a good shot of the of the station. So if I was just a normal man sitting here in a station, and here comes a nice little tank engine. <laughs> that is the best whistle from a, from a steam train I've had in a long time. I like how you actually can have two whistles at the same time. Uh, oh, there's another loco. Who's this? Oh, oh, it's a blue castle class. That's new. Hello. And my tiny, my tiny little tank engine is going much faster than the big boys. But either way, there's something about this tank engine that I really admire. It's got character, and that's what I like about it. And oh. 56.1 miles per hour. Now I'm satisfied because this is probably... I don't know actually know what to say because... For the first time ever, I've never actually been speechless in a train simulator video. But now, this amazing, adorable tank engine has done something that's never done before. It's made me speechless. And that is something that I really like. I tell you what, while we're on the move, I actually want to release the water valve to see what it looks like if we're on the move. Oh, wow. It's, that just, it just looks so realistic. And that's what I like about this train. It's just so good. And what's our speed now? 57.5 miles an hour. I think... I think this is its top speed, or maybe I could be wrong, but I think it's still going a bit... Yes, it... No, I am wrong. It's still picking up speed. But I think we have reached its top speed, but... For a tank engine... This is alright. Uh, this is more than alright. This is actually... This train has guts. And that is what I like about it. Okay, guys, we're coming up to our final station of the day. It's called... Star Cross Dow? Platform? Actually, that's not a bad name for a station, actually. It's actually quite a good name. So, what we, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pull power and engage the brakes so we can slow down, obviously, because brake is quite helpful. Actually, we don't actually need the brakes here. We can just we can just roll. And today has been a good day. I mean, look, the sky is good. The sun is shining. You get amazing lighting reflect reflection off the loco. And you can see the amazing scenery. You get the boat. You get the lake. It's just... What a great day. And, and I know I said this before, but thank you all so much for suggesting this amazing locomotive. I know I keep saying this and you guys are getting bored with that and I'm sorry, but you know, I just want, I, I want to show you guys how grateful I am. And uh, it's just been amazing and it's so good to be back. And what a good first episode of Train Simulator Season 3. It's just been amazing, right? Paul breaking a little, right, breaking on. Good. Not too much though. Okay, acceleration on a little bit. Oh, listen to that puffing noise. Isn't it just amazing? Doesn't it just fill you up the excitement? Because I know it does for me. Alright, uh, regulate it down a bit more. 
Actually, we're going to do this prop. Oh, God. And look at that. You, you actually see the actual locomotive when you're looking out the window. And isn't, isn't that just amazing? It's just it's so cool. Well, anyway, if we press F, uh, not F, sorry, uh, Shift 2, get a good... Um, Good to see outside the train, which is good. Right, a uh, little breaking on. Here we go. We'll do this properly without any delay. Ooh, we're going a bit too fast. Uh, let people know that I'm coming. Oh, sorry. I accidentally had two whistles there. That was a bit of a mistake. And oh, look, look who's coming in the station also. The castle class. Hello, my friend. Right, a little bit of acceleration. And power off. There we go. Breaking on. Hello, hello, mate. And stop. Perfect. Well, there you are. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this amazing and the first episode of Train Simulator 2017 Season 3. And I hope you guys are glad that we're back because I know for a fact that I am. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links will be in the description. And again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, stay cool, my friends. Well, this is the classic me, insulting trains and probably making excuses up. But actually, I'm not actually making ex an excuse. This is actually how I review trains. And all I can say is welcome back to me. Welcome back, LaserJet, for reviewing trains and probably insulting them too.